Hey Weekend Filler, I'm Robert Castle here at New Liberty Distillery. I work as the president and master distiller here. New Liberty is the home of Kinsey Whiskey, reviving this old Pennsylvania heritage brand. Um, it was rooted in where I grew up. I graduated high school in Boyertown, Pennsylvania, and not too far down the highway was the original Kinsey Whiskey Distillery out in Linfield, Pennsylvania. Funny enough, Kinsey is such an iconic brand that if you look on the neon, Times Square from the famous picture of the sailor kissing the, the nurse, there's a Kinsey Neon in the background. You know, the idea of such a brand of that day to warrant that ad space, you were very, very popular. So when the Kinsey brand died off, the last production was in the late 70s, extreme early 80s, and the brand had gone dormant, like many, you know, renowned whiskey brands of their day. We were lucky enough to be able to pick up this trademark and be able to revive the brand. Malted rye. That's a Brissetto uh, variety rye that's coming from the folks at Deer Creek. Heirloom variety of corn called Bloody Butcher from the Castle Valley Mill out in Doylestown. Such a unique name because of its red purple hues. Natural, clean, organic, not genetically modified. So when you taste our Bloody Butcher bourbon, you're going to get a very, very different uh, flavor profile in this bourbon that is quintessentially local in every way, shape, or form. So one of the interesting things about us here at New Liberty is where we're located. It's an old horse stable built in 1906 for a McCrane Plumbing Company. If you go through our second floor, you find where we store the barrels in the old horse stalls. Coming up to our third floor tasting room, you can see the original brickwork, the beams, and one of the things I loved about this building is it felt like you would craft something in here. Whether it's beer or bread or whiskey, it felt like the home of, of craftsmen. And that's really what I think that we, we embody here of what we're trying to do at New Liberty. Before Prohibition, Pennsylvania had far more distilleries, over a thousand distilleries licensed in the state. Multiple times more distilleries than Kentucky or Tennessee. So we became the first craft distillery in Pennsylvania and one of the first 40 in the United States. So one of the things with our tasting is sitting down as a team, being able to taste through all the products, we look at the nose, the body, and the finish. So all of our notes incorporate these specific elements. You come in, you start your tour down right by the stills. Where the fermentation tanks are, you work your way up to the second floor, you learn about aging, you learn about the nuances of wood and their contribution to whiskey, and then you finish your way, third floor tasting room. Up here is where people can order a flight, they can order a craft cocktail, and all the meanwhile getting education from our great staff members about all our different products that we make here at New Liberty. What we're tasting today is our Kinsey Pot Distilled Wheat Whiskey, along with our Chardonnay finish and the Cabernet finish. We always try to taste it against other products out in the market as a reference point to see where we stand. The team here at the distillery where we collaborate on verbiage and sit down and taste through all of the different mash bills before they get released. So when we taste our whiskey, we first start with a small sip that sits on the middle of your tongue. Allow it to sit on the middle of your tongue, falls over the tongue, down to our teeth and gums, swallow and then exhale out your nose. By doing that, we're able to get all of our, all elements of our senses involved to fully taste the whiskey. Thanks for the virtual visit on Weekend Filler to New Liberty Distillery. We hope to see you here soon for a tour and raise a glass to local whiskey.